I feel like this mural was the hardest one I've ever done because just experiencing everything, just everyone's emotions, the, the hundreds of people watching me do it. The 15-year-old NYPD explorer with plans to one day become a detective, brutally murdered back in June by alleged members of the Trinitarios gang. The tragedy that unfolded at this Belmont corner, rocking the community and beyond. My son is not here with me, but I feel he's in my heart for life. I learned about Junior's death on uh, Instagram and I just started following the uh, hashtag and just keeping up with it until I felt like I felt like I just needed to do something about it. I just had the thought like I need to go there and, and paint a mural for it. When I showed up here, I wanted to um, do it the right way to like find Junior's mom, get her permission first, and then from that point, I got the permission from the building owner. The Bronx Borough President helped out with getting the permission, and everybody kind of like chipped in. I, I was just wondering if you can come up so I can see you. I grew up in uh, Brooklyn, New York, Sunset Park. My family's Dominican also, you know, and, and I have like two little brothers and they, they kind of look like him too. I think in a way that's, that's, that's why I can relate to him. So there was, when, when I was a kid, there was somebody that, that died on my block. Somebody painted a mural of the, of the person that passed away and the mural is still there. I don't know who painted the mural, I didn't see who did it, but you know, I was happy to see that. And, and, the, and the guy that passed away was like the older brother of the, of the block, you know what I mean? Like, um, he used to watch over all the little kids when we played outside and whatnot, so it was just cool to see that. The mural helps to this community so that it not to the same thing that Junior. The mural Junior.